In this video, we will talk about screen recording. So one of the features in Awingo is the possibility to record everything that happens in a remote app, an RDP stream or a full uh, desktop. This feature can be useful, for example, when you would like to do a full screen recording of an external person that has access to your system. Uh, basically, what will happen is that whatever the user does, um, whatever comes on a screen, that will be recorded in sort of, a sort of video file, and that video file can be played on uh, later uh, for auditing purposes. Uh, how does it work? Um, first of all, what you need to do is uh, configure a location uh, in Awingu where you can store the video files. So the video files itself will not be kept on the Awingu appliance. They will be copied to a file server of your choice. And then uh, once the file is over there, you can decide yourself if you want to keep it like for one day, one week, one year, whatever uh, is the retention you want to keep on those uh, video files. So uh, this part of the configuration is in the user connector uh, and it's uh, located completely at the, the bottom of the page. So over there in the application sessions uh, overview, uh, there is the possibility to enable uh, the recording. So let's uh, enable it. And then Awingu will ask for a recording URL. So um, in, in my case, uh, I would like to store um, the recordings on uh, my uh, Active Directory in the folder recording. And I have created a, a user which is called record uh, with, a, with, a, with a password uh, that can be used to store the files. So uh, you need to specify in this, uh, in this uh, URL uh, both the, the username and the password. You will see that once we save it, the password will not be visible anymore, but uh, you need to uh, type it in this kind uh, of format. Also be careful uh, with the username. So it's um, actually the tenant name backslash uh, the name of the user. So in my case, um, my domain is called comp.local. My um, NetBIOS name is, is comp, but the tenant itself is called training. So it's, uh, it needs to be training uh, and then the, the name of the user and then uh, the double point, the password at server uh, slash uh, location. Um, uh, another thing which is, which is important is, of course, the password uh, should, not, uh, should not expire or should not be set at first login because otherwise it won't work. Also, be careful with special characters in the, in the password, uh, uh, at signs, uh, dots uh, will break the, the, the format of the URL. So, uh, not, not all passwords are uh, possible. So this is uh, step number one. We need to enable the, the feature and specify in the user connector where the files can be uh, stored. And then uh, the second thing we can do is specify what needs to be recorded. And, and we can do that on two levels. Either we can over here uh, specify via a security group or via a user uh, that that user or that security group needs to be recorded always. So whatever that user starts, uh, it will be recorded. So that's one way of doing it. Uh, another way could be on the application level itself. So let's uh, let's demonstrate that. So if I go to manage applications and I select again my, uh, my full desktop, uh, if I would like to do a screen recording on that full desktop, I have to go to the uh, advanced settings and then attach the record label to this uh, application. So this is the uh, only thing I need to do. Uh, configure the upload URL and then uh, attach the record label to the applications I would like to record. Let's uh, have a look uh, how uh, this works. So let me uh, log out and log in to make sure my uh, configuration is uh, reloaded. And then whenever I start this full desktop, you will see that the user is informed that uh, his session will be recorded. Uh, if he accepts, the session is started and uh, it's, uh, it's recorded. Um, as you will see, whatever I'm doing now in, the, in this session, I'm just going to uh, start Notepad. Uh, hi there, and I will uh, close it again. Uh, don't save. Uh, close this. Close that. So close everything. Uh, I will log out from my uh, session. So sign out. So this will take uh, just a few seconds. Um, I'm recording this uh, not from uh, in the office for the moment. So I will need to uh, download the file to my uh, local computer if I want to play it. Uh, the local file will be written as soon as the session has gone. So it's probably uh, finishing it. It's the case. So it's it's gone. So if I now go to my uh, folder where I have the recordings, the file is uh, there. Let me just download it to my uh, local computer, uh, which I just have done. And if I would now like to play it, uh, you will see that uh, for the admins, there is something called the recorded session player. 
So if I open that one and go to my uh, local file on my local computer, which I just have uh, downloaded, you will see that there is a full screen recording. So everything which happened on the screen, so uh, applications that were started, uh, mouse uh, pointer movement, so everything uh, everything is in there and can be uh, can be viewed uh, afterwards.